What's up, everybody? It's your boy Corey, aka Town Tiles once again. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Corey, aka GQ Saint, back with another reaction video. This is gonna be time for another friend of homie Ares Kings, you know, very in comments. This is gonna be the origin of the anti monitor. Those who don't know, you should be you should know by now what a what a crossover, what they're doing with the infinite crisis. And we know the whole DC, such as Arrow, Black Lightning, Supergirl, Flash, all that. And anti monitor will be the main villain. This is what I truly believe this who Danos, I mean, no, no, why, why in the world said Danos? I mean, Galactus was based off of in Marvel. Me, I'm a Marvel guy. Those who you, you sure are better know now. For me, I tend to like some people in these things. This, the shows, yeah, I like especially Arrow. I love Arrow. Arrow was a great show. I tend to like that more. Blight Light is pretty good, too. Anyway, I don't want to bore you guys long. So, me, I'm curious, how was he created? Where did he truly come from? I still, to this day, believe that Galactus was created based off this guy the way he is. And Galactus is pretty powerful. All right, now let's go and dive on to the video. Once again, any stress requests, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you want to react to. Let's go and get it. What's up, my comic comrades? The CW Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover event is currently in full swing. Yo, and yeah, thus far, there have been a crap ton of Easter eggs and cameos that just bring a tear of joy to my DC Comics love and art. It's legitimately worth watching for the fan service and Easter eggs alone. So for those of yeah, you who haven't seen please. it yet and would like to, you can do so on the CW app. In any case, the bean behind the crisis is the Anti-Monitor. Well, many moons ago, we promised to give you guys an origin of the Anti-Monitor episode when the crossover kicked off. And today, we're making good on that, so let's get Appreciate into it. Appreciate that, homie. I like that. The anti was created by George Perez, Marv Wolfman, and Jerry Ordway. And he made his first appearance in Crisis on Infinite Earths 2 in May of 1985. But how did the Anti-Monitor come to be? And more importantly, what makes him one of the top five most powerful beings in the DC Universe? Well, it all started at the beginning of the universe. And at the center of the universe is Oa, which is the home world to the Owens and the Guardians of the Universe, or yeah. the creators of the Green Lantern Corps. The but before of Green the Guardians Lantern of the Corps. Universe were even formed, there was an Owen scientist named Krona, who made a device that would allow him to see the source of all creation. But it caused a massive explosion on Oa. Said explosion created the antimatter universe and the beginning of the multiverse. After this, a civil war began on Oa, with some Owens wanting to fight for justice to get rid of all evil, and the others, let's just say, didn't mind evil so much. So they left to the antimatter universe to live on the planet Quard, which was the center of the antimatter universe. Essentially, the antimatter universe occupies the same space continuum as the positive matter universe, but on a different space time level. As was explained to us in Crisis on Infinite Earths issue 7, the DC universe was a single positive matter universe until the scientist named Krona from the planet Oa altered the very moment of creation of the universe, which caused it to split into countless and similar universes and an antimatter universe. Now I say all of this because obviously the birth of the antimatter universe is very important as that's where the anti-monitor came from. The anti-monitor was born on one of the moons of Kord when a massive amount of energy yeah, in a way, those, you At the know, same Galactus time, in the came positive from a matter universe, universe that no one even exists. So I think this was another moons. story he With was the based off of. With now born, he decided to take over Kord by sheer force and made himself an army of troops that had the power to throw lightning bolts, which he called the Thunderers. The most powerful of them, he turned into living shadows. And once Anti-Monitor sensed the Monitor from the positive universe, he started a one million year long war with him because his insatiable desire to conquer. Sometime after this would bring us to one of the most iconic comic book stories in history, Crisis on Infinite Earths. In the real world, the storyline was a way to revamp continuity and make things more streamlined going forward, as DC continuity was all over the place at this point in time. And I must say, once Crisis on Infinite Earths was over, it fixed a lot of problems. Although, as all of us diehard fans know, that never lasts very long, especially over the past several years, because DC loves them some crisis events and reboots, but that's a rant for a different time. Anyway, as for the Anti-Monitor and the Crisis on Infinite Earths story, after a cosmic accident tore a massive hole between the positive and antimatter universe, the anti-monitor was like, yo, this is my opening, dude, literally, and started flooding a bunch of the realities with a wave of antimatter destroying them, planning on becoming the sole ruler of the multiverse, causing a crisis. But the monitor, his counterpart from the positive matter universe, who was in charge of maintaining balance in the mm -hmm. multiverse, was like, well, since my job is maintaining balance, I can't let that happen. 
and started recruiting heroes from across time and space to set up five towers to help merge the multiverse back into one to make it stronger. But in reality, like our real reality, it gave us readers a more streamlined continuity. Ultimately though, by the end of Christ on Infinite Earths, the Anti-Monitor is reduced to a flaming head and then destroyed by Earth 2 Superman with a right hook while screaming, I've had enough. Dude, I'm telling you, Superman can't be stopped. Yet people still wonder why I say he's the most powerful superhero. Now I will say in more recent continuity, like literally Those continuity you know, from 2019, it was super revealed that just, both the Anti-Monitor and the Monitor, along with the World well, Forger, well, have a mother, and that mother would be Perpetua. He's, he's okay, a super celestial he's being definitely who created the multiverse that existed just before out there. Earth Zero. So yes, not only did you create the Anti-Monitor, the Monitor, and the World Forger, but also the multiverse itself. In short, that's pretty crazy. We'll definitely do an episode on her in the future as we learn more. But now that you know how the Anti-Monitor came to be and his most prominent storyline, let's take a look at some of his powers and abilities. Oh, this yes. should go without saying, but the Anti-Monitor is one of the most powerful beings in the DC Universe. So much so, he has caused more deaths than any other villain in the DC Universe. Think about that for a second. I mean, the guy has literally destroyed and absorbed thousands upon thousands of universes. So to say he's incredibly strong and just overall powerful would be an understatement. He was also able to defeat literally armies of superheroes and can alter reality. And by absorbing universes became more powerful than his counterpart, the Monitor. I mean, he was responsible for the first crisis in the DC universe and was the sole guardian for the Sinestro Corps once upon a time and was even the source of the Black Lantern Corps central power battery the dude's insane. But if you're looking for some reading recommendations, obviously check out Crisis on Infinite Earths and The Dark Side Wars. And that's gonna bring another episode of Variant to a close, but if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this one right here. And if you like what we do, be sure to subscribe. That was a pretty interesting video. I like it, so in a way I see my pain as somewhat correct. This was definitely in a way who Galactus was based off of, the Anti-Martyr. So it gave me more clear understanding like how so basically he's responsible for the multiverse, which is interesting. Anyway, pretty good. Cause basically if anything I want to learn from all combo origins, this is my go to guy. You need, you guys definitely check him out. Once again, make sure you give your like, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day. Peace.